be that Jane Dragon 2 Season 2 Episode 19 of Charm. Last episode was called Chick Flick and we got insight about just how much Phoebe can crank up some spells. Listen, <laughs> I've never seen, once again, those episodes are my favorite type of trope where there's like something that is in TV that comes out and we have to destroy it. But also we got a chance to see more about Phoebe's magic skills with her making that also more about her kind of perspective on love at the point and also we had to see piper and leo attempting to have a date that is and also piper essentially running into dan and retrieving everything that's been left of dan so maybe now we can finally move past her in a dan situation but once again he's still her neighbor so that we may get some more running and ties into each other because he did think he had hope to prue in her job and um the once again <laughs> her worker having her assigned to somebody that she idolized and we realized that he was trash and his karma was to get a picture the picture that he got caught off guard essentially being what was the best photography that they've witnessed for him so once again we're three episodes away from the finale of this season and once again we are just smooth sailing on um just gonna keep on cranking them out gonna keep on going and season three I feel like season threes of like a lot of shows that I watch is always like my favorite or at least second favorite. So let's see what season three gives. So anyways, let's dive in. No, 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 no. I put it on the kitchen calendar way in advance. That's why Phoebe's at the library studying and you're supposed to be out on assignment. Yeah, well, I was. So I went to the hate and I took these shots, but look at this man. Oh, yeah. yeah. He so, vanishes. So he's in every single one of my pictures downstairs and work all night long and i'll be really quiet and you don't have to worry about yeah okay. okay so no sex without safe sex thanks okay yeah. Yeah. You wanna sit down? Uh, why don't we go upstairs since she's downstairs, downstairs. Okay, wow I, uh... no that's how it feel that's how it feel yo oh i'm sorry <laughs> yo i used to be the library like all of you. come on they have to take me seriously Mm. Run quick before I start telling you about my mother. Lucky. No, it's okay. I've been studying here for so long. It's nice to have someone to talk to. Demons. Yeah, I've been researching for five years to prove that they're not just myths, like my dad thinks, that they actually really five exist. Five years? Got proof right here. I certainly knew a lot about them. Oh, uh, see, that's why she... It's really late. Um, and Phoebe! I gotta go. Phoebe, that's not a good thing. She just knows what she's looking for? Hmm. Scared me. Wait. Look at him. Did he just like snatch her? Will you do me a favor? Oh, that's definitely not. I want to get down to the uh, hate. You know, damn, this demon. This. What? What are you doing in here? Can you hand me a table? Oh. Mm. Ooh, 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 ooh. Leo. Oh. Well, um. Hacking. Let out. Right, she said. Oh, you back it? That's what I'm hearing. Uh, word on the curve. Still, mm. Phoebe, you have to take care of yourself. You have to get some rest after. Mm. Piper, I did not go back to college to fail at it. Okay. Mm. I'm it's possible for someone to find proof that demons really do exist. Yes. I don't know. Maybe. But even if anybody did, nobody would ever know about it anyway. Um. Don't you want to sign Dad's birthday card? Why? He never sends me one. Right. Yeah. Yes! He doesn't. Is to it? any of us, so why do I keep trying? No. You keep trying because you never give up hope. Yeah, well, she needs to give it's up hope. One of the things I love about you. Oh my god. You yeah. never give up on us. So do I, which means mm -hmm. I have to go. I have a dentist appointment. How long can you stay? Uh, until they call. Well, if and they, they don't call, call. Much, but meet me at the club, I'll buy. I'm a photographer with 415 Magazine, and I'd just like to know if it's okay if I take your picture. Why? We're doing a feature called Faith. Oh. She was murdered six and a half months ago right here waiting for the bus. Really? I'm looking for a witness. Good friend who's an inspector. You know, maybe I can call them, see if they have any ideas who did it. I know who did it. You do? The punk that owns that bus shop across the street. Everybody knows he did it. Probably is he's got everyone too afraid to talk. That man? Yeah, he's definitely sus if he keeps looking out the fucking window. What are we doing here? 
Are we serious? No way. In her bar? What the hell is going on here? Don't ask me. He just came in here punching. Dan did? Uh, well, what did you do? What did I do? Nothing. Yeah, true. All right, back to your position. Go on. No. <laughs> Are you kidding me? He's about to clock me. Clock sorry, that I help you with that. Let's go. Oh, my God. I did. I mean, I will. Not I'm asking did. you first. I just gotta go. Dan! Dan wait. There's no way Dan came in here and did that. They found that girl, didn't they? Her, her, I'm that girl that was counting people dead wrong. Damn! For that matter, I was on my way to the library. Her saying that next to these people? She was decapitated and her body was dumped here. Oh, he gave really dead killer? Any idea who? I saw her last night. In the we library. can't even have friends? She about to publish something. Oh yeah, they definitely killed her to keep that identity about demons a secret. Anybody touch that book gonna get clapped, I'm fearing. They still got school. I would have thought they would have closed it. Um Hey she, baby. She's a ghost now? Different ask her. I have a Oh That's Okay, Phoebe can actually get dead people? Hold on, let's 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 um well maybe all the witches can see ghosts. We saw okay, Piper and I saw Dan Mark. I Never mind. Again. What happened in here? Dan and Leo. I found them in here beating the crap out of each other, and neither one of them will tell me why. Oh. I mean, it's kind of sense. Well, her ghost, you know, and I, I tried to tell her, but I, I just not. couldn't. Oh, you did. You're right. Yours tops mine. Yeah, I mean, dead bodies over. Uh, I just don't get it. How could someone not down. know? The other thing, I think a demon actually killed her. Mm. Oh, and you were going to pawn this off on me. Well, <laughs> no, I was going to tell you about the demon part sooner or later. How do you tell someone that their life is over? Right, she's only like maybe 18, 19, maybe 20. We're around the early, early 20s, like this yeah. is nuts. Okay, number one, I have no idea who Charlene is. Number two, mm -hmm. I'm here to talk about Clevon Wilson's daughter, Tyra. Tyra, I doubt there's anything you can do. Okay, but if you suspect, okay, right. then what? Magically. No, if I could do that, Daryl, Clevon wouldn't be out there giving up his life trying to find one. But the thing is, like, y'all struggle, y'all try to figure out these fucking supernatural cases, and y'all y'all fail, but you're so adamant on finding it, you have a normal case of somebody to die from a normal cause, and you know who it is, and you don't even want to figure out what the fuck to do with it, but you want to worry about supernatural cases? So you want to tell me what the fight was about? Actually, I was hoping Leo would, but I gather he hasn't. Why would he? He's, uh, unreachable. That he's not real. Do you remember my brother-in-law who works for the State Department? I knew we were going to drop this. I know he was well, going to something it. wasn't right with Leo's army records. Dan. I know. I asked him not to go any. I'm still here for him. Look at him. Stay your friend. We friends? You couldn't even, you couldn't tell her that? You had to duke it out with Leo in her establishment? Fuck up her glass and her tables and her chair? Her name is Lillian. You got her a wife? Why did they tell what? me about her? She Why probably did. Get that from me? I don't know. So you don't want to talk about his past. Him. He kind of said it. Him, but he's conveniently out of the calling area. Speaking of chats. I need to go and talk to this pawn shop guy before oh he closes, okay? So we'll... You're going to talk to that man that yeah. got the police okay. shimmered be timbered? Oh, absolutely. We're closed. Why? Well, it's only a quarter... I said we're closed. Get the um, hell out of here. Who's talking to, big fella? You know, you don't scare me. Dead King Old Man? What you want? Is that right? Yeah. And you ain't getting it. Nobody's gonna mouth on me. Nobody. Oh, so you are the killer. Your time. Right. Guy drives in and dives. <laughs> Hey, she ate that up. Yeah, look at that. Mm. Oh, the lady light. Sorry. Didn't mean to spook you. Look at her. So to speak. Uh, Charlene. Be, uh, I mean, I, I know you're trying to make it, make it, you know, comfy for her to be like when she's alive, but, um. Something wrong, Phoebe? Um. You're dead as fuck. For that matter, or slept? I mean, are you tired right now, Charlene? Are you even tired? Okay, what are you saying? Drunk I'm saying dead. that I think a demon killed you last night. Got to, I got a book and a candle. Let me help you out. Make sure you're reading. Yeah. Pick a book up. My book tabs and shit. Like, no key. Why is it there if she's a ghost? Oh, yes, yeah, see? Okay, Grim Reaper. Sorry. <laughs> Wrong sister. Okay, Cliff Notes version. She is a student who found proof that demons really do exist. And this demon right here. That's so, not. How was your day? Not as bad as yours, but it's going to get a hell of a lot better as soon as I find the truth spelling. What do you need that for? So well, to confess. catch a murderer who thinks that he can do the same thing, Phoebes. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm helping a father with his grieving. I'm helping him to move on. It's more like protecting the innocent. 
He's thinking about dad. I'm wondering. I if knew it. It hurts him as much not having his daughters in his life. No. I think it does. Went home, saw the folks crying, and then I knew it was true. I've never seen my dad cry before. Not over me, anyway. And then I got pissed. Oh, we're collecting, um. He was a special man. He always went out of his way to try and help somebody, even before he shipped out. And what happened after that? It sounds like you still love him. I'll always love Leo, in a certain way, for so many things. Mm -hmm. Another doctor, as it turned out. Really? I'm a wonderful man. He gave me two wonderful children, grandchildren. I think I've taken up enough of your time. Oh, but you haven't found what you came for yet. Mm. Actually, I think I have. Oh. It's very nice to meet you, Lily. You <sighs> I don't know. It all went dark until I was back in the library again with that terrible headache. And you didn't get a chance to see the demon? Mm. This vanquishing spell isn't going to do us much good if we can't catch him first. Well, mm. we're going to have to do it in the library if we're going to keep that premonition of yours from coming true. Oh, okay, hold on. Come on. Did she just... Oh. Let's find on the way there. Who's let's, that? Let's go. That's Not right. who's that. Why is she saying that? <laughs> There it is, there it is. Freeze it! Yo, she like, I thought, like, why would y'all be that far away in the first place? It damn near a whole half hallway away. Oh, there's no way he just doing that. This idiot. <laughs> this idiot? Did his dude got his own gear stuck into a wire? Did she become real? Like what? Why what? am I not moving on? I have no idea. Yes? Oh. I'm just frustrated, that's all. I told you she was a quick study. Well, maybe Charlene's right. Maybe you didn't really vanquish him like the demon of illusion. No, no, he is definitely no. gone. Damn it! Oh, she touched, she able to touch something. Look. Okay. That's so what it has to, that's so they know. both intertwine with each other? Maybe she has to get justice for somebody else. Of getting him to say the truth instead of, oh, she can haunt him and he can confess. Let me clock that. Look at this trash. We got you, sir. Trust. You will be dealt with. Oh. Oh, she eating down. This haunting. Now she's saying lights out. Come through. Tyra Wilson, Tyra Wilson. I killed Tyra Wilson. I meant it. Oh, thank you. We've been waiting a long time to hear you say that, Gibbs. Right. Here he is. It's mad, Gibbs. You look like you've seen a ghost. <laughs> you ain't, you ain't. You rot in hell. Mm -hmm. Right. This doesn't mm -hmm. bring them back. It doesn't yeah. take away the hurt. Just accept no, but at least we can move on with your life. Tyra would have wanted that. Yeah, you know, we got, we got, we got to stay strong for the good dads, cause their dad. Oh Lord, have mercy. But, yeah. Damn, she really is gone. Um, speaking of perspective. No. Uh, I signed Dad's card. Huh. Really? How'd you get in? Crucial so real though. I uh, sort of didn't. Tell the bouncer I don't work here anymore. Hmm. But you can't not tell me stuff because you think it might hurt. If we're gonna have a normal relationship, at least as normal as possible, then you need to be honest with me. Okay, well. Dan Lord's lot for her. Anyway, though, my season two episode 19 reaction to Chon. We're gonna talk about Prue, Piper, and Phoebe. Um, obviously, let's talk about Phoebe first since that was the main centric of this episode as well as Piper, but we'll get in Prue, obviously, but we'll get there. With Phoebe, honestly, I understand. All Nighters is one of the things that I tried to do during college. I maybe did them a couple times, and most of the times I didn't even fully stay up. Um, I would fall asleep by like four or three o'clock in the morning. Even had a, I have a mug over here. It's like this big, and I filled it up with the nastiest coffee, which is why I'm traumatized of hot coffee. I filled it up, and I made with the powdered milk 
and it was so horrible I, I just get shivers when I think about it and I thought it was gonna keep me up for a physical exam and it didn't um but I am I know how it is like with with them you have to keep in mind that it's hard for them to work it's hard for them to date it's hard for them to study or do anything socially out there when every time they turn around there's you know somebody dying or there's something demonic happening and with phoebe she gets visions and that can happen any time of the of the day no matter what she's doing what how she's feeling if she's busy things will come no matter how busy or not busy they are and for her she has an exam and you know obviously she has that fear of like flunking she already flunked out of college she already had experiences that weren't good with college and she's giving it a chance and when she's finally getting into that like finals like make or break because a lot of finals are like 30 percent 25 percent maybe even 50 percent of your grade you only can try so much to remain calm and like in a sense yes like she on like she aced it but once again you will never know like with exams you never know what they do and a lot of teachers hmm, um they'll give you a test and then it'll be something that you may not even have or like they'll be like oh this is gonna be an exam and then it'll be one of the things that you wasn't really focusing on and you know you can imagine like yes you may have studied and no matter how long how long you stay up it's not always going to help you grasp the material which is definitely a vibe that she learned and that there's other pe other important things so now she can like remain calm you can just imagine like you're like I've been studying, breaking my back. I passed the exam, but I lost a friend in the process. And mind you, I said earlier this season or a couple episodes, yeah, around the time of the Valentine's Day episode, I was like, it's interesting. Or hopefully I'll be interested to see Phoebe like gain friends because we mostly still see her hang out with her sisters more than having like a college friendship. And I thought she wouldn't have a friendship with her. Loki, I thought she, the girl's going to like become demon, like demon intrigued and think that and try to stalk or whatever. But like, I thought that at least she had had a friendship it turned out to be genuine and she gets killed. People do find out about demons and stuff like that and they get killed, which is what, but it isn't, like I wasn't even shocked because they tried to get Bane out of here. But it's even crazy because Bane is still alive. He's in jail. So maybe that's why he's untouchable for the moment. But like she got out immediately. And I guess once again, there are different demons and different people of, of how, they, and how they encounter how to kill the mortals. But like she got killed immediately. Bane is still living. Dan is he's tethering a rope because it's not about demons, but he's tethering a, a rope about finding something supernatural. So we'll see. Let's go into Piper since we're talking about Dan. Like I said, I feel like with like the shipper in me wants Dan to be fucking for real. But the understandable me, IRL me, is like Dan is valid. And I always feel like I always say, like, okay, I understand Dan, I understand Dan. But sometimes Dan thinking skills are just not there because you knew if you went to Leo, you were going to be seen as a jealous ex. You just, you just met her. You just, you just, y'all just told upon each other in a dinner. You just returned her stuff. You're her neighbor. So you probably see Leo and him coming in and out. You go to Leo. So I'm going to sue threaten him. Or tell him I know. I don't care how it comes across. It's definitely giving threatened because you got information about him. You came to him. The only thing I can logically think of you saying is you better tell Piper about who you really is, or I will. It's the only logical thing I can think of him saying. It may not have came out as threat, but somehow it's still a threat because you're basically telling Leo to tell her before you do because you already got information on it. Somehow he's acting very civilized about it because this man just found that this man has been married and he definitely should be pushing 60 plus and he's not even phased. That's just a different matter. But then to fight in there and then be like, you can talk to me as your friend after you just destroy stuff in my bar. You just beat up my current boyfriend that I told you that I chose over you. It's not making you look good in the light. And with Leo, I understand that's his past that's not really like i think i guess he he disconnects what he's doing now as a white lighter compared to what he was before because obviously back then in the 40s and 50s life was different compared to the early 2000s so you know how that is but i mean i understand piper too like she's somebody that you know obviously learned that you were supernatural that you're a white lighter she's dealing with how you how the family is gonna call you any man of the day you know everything about her you know everything about her family who her you know her job you worked at her place you talk to her you ski with her you live with her you love her but she doesn't know anything about you and a yes in a perspective he may not want to hurt her that's literally what he said but you like she doesn't know anything about you like like leo 
pretty much had he does like yes she knows a little bit about him like like him being interested in certain baseball teams when he talked to dan but he doesn't really talk to her about things he's interested in like once again they really had a chance so they can obviously learn now but she doesn't know about your past she doesn't know most of your interests she doesn't know really that much about you as of now but you know more about her and it'll be insightful just for her to get a glimpse of what you were before and, and what made the founders choose you to be a white lighter like her knowing the qualities of who you were and of, and how you grew into now she would probably want to hear that and for her to hear for her to hear from an ex-fiance that's not a good thing because like damn you couldn't even tell me i gotta go talk to somebody that's your old is somebody from your past but once again i guess um her talking to that lady gained perspective on it and they helped you know talk it through whatever case may be because obviously like that's something that's like 50 some years ago it doesn't really matter but once again hopefully now this can be the start of because they just are dating so it's obvious like everything's not going to go the right way but hopefully now onwards he will open up to her about his past experiences what he do because he did tell her a little bit obviously in season one but like i think the marriage part probably was like it's not important because i don't want you to doubt our relationship or doubt think or thinking that i still love this girl i told her she can move on and this is me moving on situation but dan i feel like dan is not going to give up dan has made it pretty adamant that he's here definitely given he's not over her which i figured um it's given that he's going to continue to ask piper her opinions and if she and, and why does she not care and why is she not listening to him and taking his advice or not realizing that leo is something that's that something weird about leo he's i don't, I don't I, at first i was like maybe he's not going to be this way but it's given that he's going to probably continuously bug her about it or keep checking in to see if leo's still here because he thinks by sh even though he may not that may not be his intent to me at this point i don't care i'm going to say that's giving that intent like at some point there's so much he can do and in, in a real life point of view it makes sense for him like, it makes sense for anyone to be like okay well dan is valid because leo so they're worried about him like look but hopefully he just tells her his piece and go even though this is the second time trying to do a leo is weird and not who he says he is campaign i don't know honestly i can't tell dan how to process his ex or him showing that he really cares about her because obviously if this wasn't a supernatural event or a supernatural show i would definitely be like dan is real um and he definitely is right but me as a piper and leo shipper i'm like sir let her let her do her own thing i don't know like let her do her own thing last to talk about prue um honestly i'm happy by the end of this episode she still didn't change her opinion because piper she's the one that always you know i was like leo said she has hope for the change she's always the mediator she was hopeful when he showed up her and phoebe were the ones that were hopeful and obviously with phoebe i mean she can be easily maneuvered specifically with the stuff that's been happening right now she witnessed a father love for his daughter lead him to getting justice after months after six months or so of his, his daughter being dead and getting no justice her mind can easily tether and be like okay well sure like, let me just write it to him but this instant is like one of those things that happen now in society where it's like the parent thinks that the child is supposed to continuously reach out to them like there'll be parents that's like oh well you know i gave birth or i had this kid i expect this kid to call me how's the three-year-old gonna call you how is you as a person who only showed up when your kids became witches put them in danger for their neighbor i mean with their demon neighbors make a deal with them and then be like oh well you know I was only doing it for y'all so y'all can have a normal life and then vanish again. He doesn't sing all letters. He doesn't sing all birthday cards. He doesn't call you. He doesn't visit or anything. Like, yes, the actor may not be able to appear. But if you could at least say or hint that they have a connection with the dead outside of everything, I'll let that I'll let it slide. But for them to insinuate that he doesn't communicate with them at all, as if now he's still the most, like, demons after him so they gotta go after this kid situation is crazy. 
because these witches are now they already they already on the line of the scene they're already they're already getting looked for so the like i understand since it was the early seasons you didn't want to bring attention to them but they already had the attention every demon that comes here knows about the charm ones that are coming for them regardless so for you to not reach out to them a year or so after you pretty much met them, when they started being witches is crazy especially when you know what happened to the your baby mom and how she died and for you to not be like at least watching them to make sure that that doesn't happen to them again is crazy to me. And it's wild that like, that I, I really thought this episode was going to try to make all of them be on the same page of like, oh my God, you know, I, I should definitely still reach out to my dad. No, he doesn't reach out to them. Why would we reach out to him? And like, we'll see that just like last episode or no, two episodes ago. Or so when you know Piper opinion didn't change about um, life and witch and stuff. I'm happy. I'm happy. Prue still on business. Prue saw how what he who for who he really was. The other sisters didn't, and it's realistic for her not to change because he doesn't reach out to them. So why should she reach out to him and write him a letter as if she still cares about him just because she had a moment where she felt sadness for a father and daughter's bond that she would never get. And her sisters would never get. I was happy that they were able to bring justice to his daughter because that's what he deserves. Six months of everybody knowing the police always trying to solve crimes that don't make sense. But once again, it makes sense because they always put the ghost or demonic cases in the back burner. So they probably was like, okay, we're just going to rack it up. Might as well rack up our city of non-soft cases. But the fact that we were able to get two for two was a good thing. But like, once again, she was able to at least feel satisfaction of helping him gain closure because she would never have a full closure with her trash dad. He doesn't visit them. He doesn't talk to them. He doesn't even make the attempt of make, showing that he still loves them. And yet these girls still have hope that maybe he'll change. And that is crazy to me because at this point, once he showed himself off in that at first season, it was a done bun. It was a done bun. He was trash. But yes, um, that was my reaction. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more charm reactions. Pray John Blink Blood for Charmed, Teen Wolf, and Revolutionary Girl Utena. Um, Twitter will be like when I update. When I upload. Until next time, make sure you be safe. Peace. Mm -hmm.